Oh, I got my blending. So the first thing I'm going to do is use this, try this primer water. It's three in one base, I think. Prep, set, and refresh. So let's try that. Ooh, it smells like cucumbers. So let's just let that dry a little bit. So I'm going to try this, the lighter side, because I haven't gotten a tan yet, of foundation. So this is the Wet n Wild. Oh, it has like a little... Dabber. Okay, so let me do this. Okay. So let's get my little pineapple. So let's just dab this on. It's a little darker than me, believe it or not. Still haven't gotten my tan. I like that little uh, applicator. So let's just not too bad considering I haven't gotten a tan yet. Okay. And this is like feels light on the skin, which I really, really love. So how's everyone doing today? Beautiful out here. Oh, gorgeous outside. Gorgeous. Okay. So that's a pretty good coverage, actually. Pretty good coverage. So I don't think I'm going to be adding any more to that. And this is the um, Buff Biscuit. 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 So it's not bad. Actually, if I went a little darker it would have been too dark like that so now I'm going to go in with a very light concealer to highlight and it has like a nice doofa on there oh what the hell am I doing getting distracted oh yeah see this is what I like the light for this light for now because I don't have a tan Okay, yeah, not bad. I may have to hold this because I need a little bit more. Because I put some on my nose. I got redness. You try to hide the redness. And this is animal and cruelty free, which I love. So I have a lot of redness. So, see, it says it right here. Little bunny on there animal and cruelty free which I love so put aroma I have a lot of very dark eyes very dark very dark don't worry even if I look like a ghost it will be headed down so far. I like the wet and wild. I really do. Alright, so I got did the primer. I did that. So let's go ahead and do eyebrows. I got this retractable eyebrow pencil. Wrong hand. And it comes with to comb your eyes. First, I got the lighter one. Look at how it is. Let's see how this works. A little more. See? 
I brush it like this to mimic. Not too bad. I like that. It's nice and creamy. All right, and then I'll attract. dark but that's okay when I put the makeup on it'll look better okay. yeah I like that I like that a lot very creamy very very nice I like that so the next thing I'm gonna do is some eyeshadow I love these shadows actually which way do I open this hmm had it open okay there we go look at how adorable and it tells you where to put them really really cute so <clears throat> I'm going to put this one in the crease that says crease really cute color I don't know what it's called though okay eyelid crease is called pile I don't know I like it so we're just going to swipe it on. I like that, actually. Where did I get that in there? It's a lot of um, fallback on this, apparently. But I'll clean that up. color though but look at a lot of there is a lot of kickback but I like the colors though so, and I will let me just kind of brush it out because for some reason it got all over the place I don't know I'll just kind of go like that see Okay, love that. Alright, I'm just trying to get the extra that's not where I don't want it to be. See? That's the crease. I love that color. Very nice and neutral. Alright, so now I'm going to go on the side. Actually, I think that was supposed to go in there. So, actually, I'm going to put this color on the side. To lighten it up on the side. A little bit. Technically, I think I did the wrong color in the transition area. Oops. Hi, boo-boo, because I was like, oh, that's a cute color, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. A lot of kickback on that. I like the colors, but 
tons of cake back. It's like powdery. It's like I dabbing it in my color change. It's like powdery. Let me go clean that up again. I always use this that I used for my foundation and concealer to kind of do any touch-ups that I need, which I love, which I love. So I'm gonna do the lid using this small brush to do the lid. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that. Hmm. So far, all these wet and wild products are really liking it, honestly. Oh, yeah. Really like them. I'm really, really liking this. And I'll do color swatches for that for you. I'm liking that a lot, actually. And then the brow bone. still have to do so far it's looking really good do the um I'm just gonna blend it with my blending brush kind of swipe it around blend it up oh yeah blends pretty good I like that to be honest I tried um I didn't think of what brand that is. Too Faced. I love the colors, the pigment, but it don't blend very well. That chocolate palette didn't blend. Oh, I love that. Blends really, really, really nice. I like it. So I'll do some swatches for you. So the eyelid is this color, and it's called. I can't even pronounce half of these. The, the transition color, but I used it more in the outer corner as this. And the, this is a crease color. And then, of course, the under the brow. But you could tell it's very kickbacky on that. So the next thing I'm going to do is this cute it's Lash Wet n Wild Renegade it looks like a little diamond on top really really cute so let's try Ooh, look at is this purple <laughs> I don't know I, might, I think it's purple I didn't realize it was purple okay let's try this out oh yeah it's purple Interesting. I like it actually. A different color. This is a very light, cute color for the summer. I'm not really caring for the sp for the spoolie very much. I don't know, it just feels weird. But the purple is pretty cute. It's different. I like that.
Interesting. I'm not really liking this weird spoolie. It is easier to get inside though. And I don't, it's not, you know, because I've been using the Too Faced Better Than Sex um, mascara. And this is not really, to me, doing too much volume. To me, anyways. So, it, I like the color, it's interesting, but it's not volumizing so this would be good for like a day that I want a little a little bit of volume but not crazy but it's not you know making it like falsies mm -hmm. not liking it too much okay. oh I forgot to put on this I'm sorry, I keep looking out there, but there's a out there. Okay, come on. They're right in there. So, anyways, this is an eyeliner. So let's try this out. Too bad. Not too bad. Let it dry a little bit. So I just screwed that up. But it does glide on pretty good. I like it. It's like a, um, what is it called? Felt tip eyeliner. Not too bad, actually. Um, I'm just gonna. Not bad at all. I like it. Too bad. I really kind of like that. So let's go on with the blush. I'm going to use this cute blush. I'm not going to use the little brush thing. Look at how cute. It's like they say pink, but it's more peach to me. So let's put some of this on. Look at this. Pigme Sorry about that. It shut off on me. That's weird. So that's the liquid lip. So that is it. That's all the Wet n Wild products for full face. And you know what? I'm really, really liking it. The only thing that I honestly didn't like is the blush. I mean, I like it, but it's too... We have to dull it down. Other than that, I do like it once it's finished. But all in all, their products are really nice. I love that. So you take this down. And look at the look. Let me see. That. I like the look. So that is it. Thank you all for watching. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell for notifications when I do notifications. And hit that like button. Hit it and show YouTube that you like my content. But I am, thank you for watching me and supporting me, new or old. And love you all. See you in the next one.